All right, welcome back. So what we want to do in this one is to add a list box to our our morph mixer here. So I've expanded the morph mixer a little bit by changing uh, the width and the height to 400 by 400 in the options uh, function. So what we need to do now is add a uh, list box here because if we go to the graph editor and go to our object, we have a list of these uh, morphs that are in groups because the morphs for the eyes are in one group and for the eyebrows are in another group and those that don't have a group layout creates a group for them and calls it morph group so which means each morph has a group at least so i want to have a list of those groups right here so the user can click on the group that they want to edit okay now to do that we need to add a list box so this is how we do it so let me go to the options and between these let me add ctl list box open bracket so the first uh, parameter we need to add is the label so I'm going to call it morph groups so this is what the user is going to see in the interface morph groups and then the second thing I need to add is the width of this uh, list box so I'll add 200 and then the height I'll add 300 so that it doesn't uh, exceed these ones here and then finally, we need to add three names of three functions. The first function, we're going to call it LB count. So you can call it any name you want. Now, this function is going to display or be responsible to count the total of items that are inside our list box. Now, this second one is LB underscore name. Now, this one is the function that will give us the name of the selected item in the list box and the last one i'm going to call it lb uh, underscore event because this is the function that will run when the user clicks on our list box so we can have some action happen let's put our semicolon and then because the list box i'll need to access this list box in uh, other functions later on so i'm going to give it a name i'm going to say morph uh, group list box too long but uh, it's okay so that it's more descriptive so let me copy that I'll need to put it at the top here so that it's a global variable since I'm going to access it in other functions as well and then on top of that we need to have one more variable that will contain the list of items that we will show in our our list box so we're going to call that one LB items so you can give it any name of your choice okay so after that we need to create these functions here otherwise if we try to run things right now we're going to get an error because it will say those functions don't exist so let's create them at the very bottom here so let me do that since i don't want to use the wrong spellings i'm just going to copy and paste Okay, so since these are functions, we put open and closing brackets on each one of them, like that. And finally, the last one, oh, wrong brackets. Okay, so now it's a requirement from uh, Lightwave that we add at least one variable on each of these. So I'm going to add uh, index on this one because it needs to know the name, the index of the selected item, but you can call it anything you want. On this one, I'll add items. This will be the list of selected items. So those are required. So once we've done that, then we've fulfilled our issue. So if we go back here and remove this, now we have a nice list box over here. Now what we want to do is add some dummy text in there to see how that is done. So since I've told you that uh, this one is the array or the list of items. So let me just put some dummy items in here just before there. So since it's an array, we can add items like this. This, 
Okay, so let me copy this a few times. So what I'm saying is in compartment number one, put this word, compartment number two, put this other word in here, uh, put another word like that. Now, if we open up uh, in layout, we're still not going to see these items because we have to tell it now that this is the variable that we are using to get the items for this. So we have to connect these two somehow. So we do that through here. First of all, here we tell it to return the count of items from a specific variable. So we are, since we are using this variable, you to know that this is the variable that uh, dot size, sorry, like so. Okay, and then in here as well, we return uh, the index, like so. Okay, so now that we've done this, you do know, okay, we are counting from this one and we are getting things from there. So you know that's where to get our items from. So let me remove that and, and there you see our items are in there. So now since we don't need these items, we want to put our very own items in there. So we have to delete these guys. Okay, so we can put our very own items in there. Okay, so, so far, so good. And let's create a function down here before I can put this down. Let's create a function here called add uh, morph groups, something like that. And then I'll put an object here because I want to know which object I'm adding this to and so on. Then let's grab this one and go back here up and do the same thing here. So the reason we are doing it here is because we want, once an object is selected, if it's a mesh, we add a morph, the morph mixer to it. And then we populate our plugin with the selected uh, objects morph groups, okay? So now all that's left to do is to edit this function that creates, that adds the morph groups to the interface, which we are going to do in here. All right, so in the interest of keeping the videos short, I'm going to do that in the next video. See you then.